Welcome back to THE Network. I am joined today by Mary Ann. We're going to talk about our classic division at THE. So Mary Ann, tell us everything. Tell us your story. How did you get involved in the beginning uh, to model? What was your interest? What inspired you? Well, I haven't been inspired ever since I was eight years old. I just have always loved clothes, shoes, everything about it, the makeup, everything. Uh, when I had joined the police department back in the 70s, of which I was one of the first women um, to be on the street and, and rather privileged, um, two years into that, I found myself getting a little rough around the edges. And so I thought this might be the time to really get into the modeling, more feminine. And at the time, the big agency here in the city was the Adair Agency. They're now gone. You girls pretty much have the wrap on this today, thank <laughs> goodness. And um, she hired me right off the bat, and I was one of the first probably the top 10 gals that would get called for everything. Runway and, and run print, everything. And television. Absolutely everything. She handled everything. And I loved it all. I, I, I have to say, if I made a choice of what I love, I love the runway work. I love wearing the clothes. I love showing women what they can look like in clothes. And I still do. After all these years, I still love running, walking down that runway. Well, you just did the heart show, I right? I did, I did. It was so amazing. Exciting. And you know, you're so um, you're so energetic and so approachable that people are thrilled to see you walk down the runway because you're smiling and you're happy and they can relate to you, which is really important. Well, that's what clothes do for me, clothes and makeup and shoes and all, the whole gamut. Um, one of the things that I have noticed over the last couple years, though, in walking these runways is I will walk to the end of the runway, and as I'm walking, all the little, I will call us the mature ladies, will be clapping. And I think that when they look at me coming down this runway, they can relate to what they would look like in the dress that I'm wearing. It's amazing that you started at such a young age. Did you ever think that you would be still modeling? I don't know, I really didn't think much about it. You know, I took a little lull off when I had my daughter, and then when I came back uh, seven or eight years ago, I have actually had a lot of work. I think what's happening is because the older people now are staying healthier, they're looking better, we're living longer, and because there's such a big portion of those people out there, someone like me, the mature model, they can relate to me much more so than say somebody 22 years old. Uh, I recently did um, the uh, retirement home down in Richmond and it's the third time they've called me back actually. This place was quite palatial, uh, you know, full swimming pool, condos, cocktail lounges. I laughed when I drove out. I thought this would be a pretty nice place to live. Right. <laughs> so tell us how I'm, you're in such great shape. Do you still diet? Do you still watch your weight? I, I do. Um, I do. I'm not going to fib. Um, I, and nothing extreme like right. it was probably in my 20s. Uh, which we all did extreme things back then. But right. um, I go to the gym three times a week. I lift weights and I'm a swimmer. And I've been swimming since I was eight years old. It's a fabulous exercise. Um, I try to stay up with all the newest makeups. I love when I work, I always ask the makeup artist what's new, what's hip, what's hot. Right. Um, I think it's body, mind, and soul too. It's just not how you look, it's how do you feel inside. That's really important. But you do so many cool things. I do um, a lot of different things. Amazing <laughs> things. So I would love to hear about your, uh, your other hobbies, your other interests, because you are a busy lady. I'm a busy gal, yes I am. So I've been the etiquette instructor over uh, in Northeast at this fabulous boys school, uh, the Washington Jesuit Academy. And it is a school for boys that would otherwise fall, th 
you know, fall through the cracks. Wow. And, it, and it's fabulous. And believe it or not, the boys love it. They absolutely love it. And at the end of each semester, Riss at 23rd and L, who's very involved around the city with wonderful things that she does for the community, she has us down there for our etiquette luncheon. And they are so excited to go. They're not allowed in there without a tie. I don't request a suit, but they must wear a tie because it's a special occasion. Mm. And at the end of the luncheon, I give all of them their white handkerchiefs which they are to carry with them from there on out, no excuses. And it's just been a love teaching these boys. You have, you're an inspiration. Um, I've so enjoyed our time together today and I'm sure everyone that's been able to watch this has been inspired by your story. Do you ever sleep? I do. <laughs> Actually, oh, I'm gonna I tell mean, you that. That's part of my regimen. Okay. Working out eating well. I've been a vegetarian for over 40 years. And uh, I have to tell you, I get eight hours of sleep a night. Okay. I don't do much at night because I'm up at 4.30 in the morning in the gym at six. I do meditations in the morning, do my workout, go to work, come home. And, you know, that's sort of my day, but it's filled with uh, wonderful things and wonderful people. And I'm so just not only proud, to be, ex but excited to be a part of your group too. It really meant a lot when I came back into the modeling field that you took me under your wings and you were able to let me get back out on that runway. You have no idea what it means to me. So thank you, ladies. Well, you're amazing. Thanks for joining us.